Hi everyone and welcome to Perfections, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. So essentially, I tested the new Alien Hypersense by Mugler. Um, very good one, if you like the original Alien. So I think it's better than the one in, you know, the current uh, Violet Alien. Okay, I think the Hypersense is better. I've, I'm very annoyed by it because, of course, uh, you know, they're selling for a very high price a perfume that essentially exists since, I don't know, 40 years or what. Okay, 40 years is too much, but, you know, like 20 years. So, um, I don't like that. But, if you like the original Alien, you're gonna get more satisfaction from that one. I think I'll do probably a video about Alien alternatives, because I have a couple of alternative, no, three alternative perfumes. Um, then uh, I, I tested um, La Nuit Resor Le Parfum. Um, that one, uh, I think I prefer the original. I mean, that one is very similar to the original, okay? But it has uh, some more dry aspects uh, due to cacao powder. And the fruitness is slightly different. I think it's less fruity overall as an experience. And uh, it has it is more dry and slightly more... How can you say earthy or sour? Um, not sour, but more like uh, this uh, dry patchouli esque uh, type of uh, smell. Um, I prefer the original. I mean, they're very similar, okay? We're, we are talking of very, very. <laughs> I don't know how to say. It's an epsilon. It's as small as you like. It's a super small difference, okay, between Le Parfum and the original, but I prefer the original, so that's it. Um, then I tried Black Opium over Red. It's Black Opium plus Cherry. It's not Lost Cherry type of cherry. It's like more of a fruity, round, uh, uh, delicate cherry note, okay? Uh, on my skin, I still get a lot of licorice, so no thank you. If you like Black Opium and you want it to be with a fruity aspect, I think that that's interesting. Um, then I tested the uh, Good Girl Blush Elixir, the new, the newest one. I mean, all of these that came out in the past month. Um, that one is no. I mean, I wanted, I really wanted to find. I, I was, I had high expectations because one of the main declared notes is Ilang Ilang, and I'm a huge fan of Ilang Ilang perfumes. Okay, um, but nope. Nope. I mean, Ilang Ilang is there, yes, but not so much. Uh, it's kind of um, airy, slightly powdery, dark. I think it's uh, the vetiver and the patchouli that are dominating the fragrance. It has some undescripted, uh, I don't know how to say, sweetness. Which, yeah, no, 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 no. no? Uh, and then what else? Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's it's like, to me, it smells like a perfume that is not finished up, okay? It's like it's missing so many aspects. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, okay, these are some accords and we can build a perfume on, on top of this. That's what I, it smells like to me. Um, what else uh, did I try? Oh, of course, I tried Flora Bloom by Guerlain, which I liked on both. I actually have a video on it. I don't know if which one will come out first. Um, then what else of the new ones? Ah, yeah, I also tested uh, uh, Nuit d'Egypte, uh, the new flanker by Chloe for the line Nomade Naturel. Um, on my skin is a mess. Uh, I like the deep dry down, but at that point it's a skin sand, so it doesn't make any sense for me to buy it. Uh, I think I've already been wearing it on my skin. I think I'll try to wear it once again and see whether it can work out, but I highly doubt it. I was very interested and I recommend you to go and test it or test it on your skin because um, it's a very interesting perfume. Uh, I I was supposed to, I, I was really expecting to love it because it has, I think, opoponax. I mean, anyway, it has a lot of incense notes and I really love um, incense resins. They're my favorite type of perfumes. Uh, um, uh, you know, like whenever there's that, I'm going to like it. Which is a problem because I, I indeed like a lot of Amouage and, but Amouage is not the only brand doing incense perfumes, luckily for my wallet. But still, I have I own pre, a few Amouages, Amouage because of this. 
Um, yeah, so um, getting back to it, uh, even the sales assistant told me, don't smell it immediately. This is a perfume that needs to sit down a bit. So you, you see, you see. I mean, the opening is not the best part of that perfume. Uh, unfortunately, on my skin, because of the myrrh, um, it's, uh, it's pretty sour. Um, I love myrrh as a note, but on my skin it doesn't work well. And when it's very predominant in a perfume, it gets, it doesn't work on my skin. Uh, so yeah, try, test it on your skin. That's an interesting perfume and it does project. It was projecting more than the alien one. I, I actually tested the alien and this perfume, you know, I had one on each wrist and the, that one was overpowering alien. So I'm just saying. Another perfume I actually forgot about is Miss Dior Parfum. This is the latest flanker of the Miss Dior line and it's been released under Francis Kurjan. I really like his work. Um, this one, many say, it's uh, similar to uh, Miss Dior Cherie. So if you are a fan of it, uh, just go and try, give it a try. Even if I heard about other, pe other, uh, other people, fan of uh, Miss Dior Cherie, that they think that's not really similar. But, you know, give it a try. Uh, to me, it's not the type of perfume I appreciate. Um, I think the opening is bright and nice and fruity. This is the part I like, but immediately I can smell the uh, base, which is very earthy and kind of green and humid. I like, you know, like this um, wild nature, kind of woody and uh, mossy. Not my cup of tea. Um, I think I'm very sensitive to the oak moss and the um, patchouli, which is in here. So that was a pass for me. Another perfume that I tested is uh, My Way Nectar by Giorgio Armani. And this is the latest flanker on the My Way line. Um, this is essentially, um, how can I say, a candied pear, um, almost caramelized, but there's no caramel really smell, you know. But it's a very, it's an ambery perfume with a lot of pear and this bubblegummy tuberose. So that's essentially what you're going to get. It's the My Way tuberose, which is candied with this pear. And it's kind of warm and ambery warm, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's sugary, yeah, enough. Um, of course, you have vanilla, you have some uh, other woody notes, I think cedar wood. And um, yeah, it's musky as well. Uh, but overall, it's a candied pear with a tuberose. Um, not ir original enough in the tuberose world, which you know I'm a big fan of tuberose, for me to pick it up. But yeah, simple and uh, pleasant in case you're interested. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you tested the new perfumes and which one you which ones you liked. Um, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Talk about any type of perfumes, uh, you know, designer niche, uh, affordable, Arabian. Uh, let me know about the new perfumes that you smelled and bought, and bought, and what you think of them. And see you in the next one. Bye.